what is good YouTube? It's your boy Bossman from Chirac News. So we're gonna continue on with this uh war between uh Young Money 051 and 600. So if you guys watched my last video about uh Shaq and Tricks, I told you guys how that uh how the first blood was really spilled in that war. Um M Thang got that dude T Streets and then uh in revenge uh Kiddo and Melly uh they were trying to get M Thang, and I guess D Rose was with them that night. But uh, D Rose and M Thang got away, and instead they killed uh, that dude, Six Hundred Shack. And um, and then I told you, uh, I told you that there was someone killed in between uh, in between Shack and uh, Trix. I forgot his name at this moment, but it was Fathead. So basically, it was T Streets. Got killed, then Shaq from 600, and then Fathead was basically the third body in this war. So, Fathead, uh, he's uh, one of the more infamous, uh, just, I don't know, deaths in Chicago. He's talked about a lot. He's well respected by his gang, and uh, he's just, he's dissed a lot by uh, the ops and shit. But, um, so his real name was Antonio Davis, and he was only 14 at the time of his death, but, uh, he didn't really have a reputation, I don't think, as a killer or nothing like that. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, there's, I, I have heard so much different shit behind his story. I just, everyone wants to be a genius or a, uh, what's it called? Everyone just thinks they know, like, 100% what happened in all these shootings. But in reality, man, it's all speculation. Like, yeah, of course, some things are, we know. But for, as for the most part, none of us were there. So. You can never be a hundred percent sure what happened, but for this shooting man, we do know. Uh, I mean, basically, dude implicated himself t tons of times on Twitter that uh, C Day was the one who got credited with killing Fathead, and uh, apparently, he killed him in a really gruesome way. He uh, after they shot him from the van, he walked up and he shot him like seven, eight times in the face. Um, but basically, on June twenty second, two thousand twelve. Antonio Fathead Davis went out walking with his 22-year-old cousin Erica to get a drink from the store. While on their way, a tan, uh, tan van creeped up by them, according to Erica. They didn't make anything of the van slowing down, but moments later, individuals from the van opened fire and Davis was hit. As Erica ran away from the scene, she, witnesses, she witnessed Davis's final moments as the gunman walked over his body and shot him multiple times. So, what most people say uh, that I have heard that L.A. was on this hit. Uh, he was the driver. Um, Rondo, D. Rose, and C. Day were in the van. And uh, like I said, they, they, I'm sure they shot at him from the van. Who knows if Rondo hit him? Who knows if D. Rose hit him? Who knows if C. Day hit him? But it's pretty much established that C. Day was the one who got out of the van and uh, stood over him, shot him like seven, eight times in the face. But... um. I just think there's more to this story. A lot of people say that Fathead was uh, claiming Shaq's body. And uh, that's the reason why they killed him. But I I personally think there was more to it, man. Um, If you guys didn't know, Fathead actually had a relationship with uh that uh, this chick G Gotti. You guys probably know her. She's a rapper, too. She's actually nice, too. And listen, in, in no way, I'm not implicating G Gotti. I fuck with G Gotti. She's bad as hell. I like her music, too. Um, but, so what I'm saying is, Fathead had a relationship with G. Gotti back in, like, 2011, and as you guys all know, G. Gotti and Rondo were dating when Rondo got locked up, but, um, I just think there's a lot more to this, I, like, I, I, how, or how, they obviously know who killed Shaq, cause Kid or, uh, M. Thang and, uh, Dero's got away, so they obviously saw Kid and, uh, Melly, so they obviously knew who killed Shaq. So saying they, they killed Fathead because he was claiming Shaq's body, that just, uh, that just doesn't make sense really. But um, I just think there was more to this. I'm not trying to say Gotti set him up, but there were these tweets where she was saying, oh, he used to, uh, I'm showing you right now, Antonio's my baby, but it's fuck him now. And then after he died, actually, she dropped this song, Middle Fingers. And uh, in the beginning of the song, uh, there's a recording of C-Day saying, uh, He's just talking shit like we die why fuck Mark uh, fuck Fathead or some shit, and 
Yeah, it's just, I don't know, man, it's weird. And then after uh, Fad died, Gotti was just all 600 crazy and then started dating Rondo. But like I said, I'm not implicating the guy in no way. I'm not saying she set him up, but it's just, it's, it's weird, man. And where he got killed down on uh, 69th, where 69th and Union, it's like they obviously had a tips that they, that they weren't just sliding down on the 69th and Union. That's like kind of like near Brick Squad, uh, Brick Squad's hood, but they had to have some kind of tip because uh, they they weren't just sliding on 69th and Union at 8:40 p.m. unless they had a tip that Fathead was down there. And like I said, I think it was more personal. But um, yeah, they they say this was one of the more gruesome kills, man. I think that's why it's just it's so talked about and so infamous. And like I said, uh, Fats was like the shorty. He was only 14. He was really the uh, Apparently, he was really loved by his gang. They looked at him like a little brother. And I, I don't know if he was TTB Nez's. I, they look, he, him and TTB Nez, like, they look like brothers or cousins or something. But I know he was very well respected by 051. And, uh, yeah, man. he get, And he's one of the most disrespected by the ops. Like, he gets dissed like Rondo in that song. They say we lack in how the fuck he get a fat head. Even Chief Keith even dissed him in that war song. But yeah, man. Uh, so this would be the, this would have been the third uh, the third body in that war. But um, yeah, man. Uh, they say he was what, yeah fourteen. Everyone says it's so fucked up. But Rondo at the time was only fifteen. L.A. I think was sixteen, and C. Day was seventeen probably. So there's there's no age when it comes to this gang shit, man. If you like thirteen, fourteen, man. You, you can get killed in Chicago. I mean, if you're with the gang shit, it doesn't matter. Age ain't shit. That dude Taekwon, which Taekwon World is, na is named after, uh, Taekwon Tyler, he actually got killed, I think, like, this, or not the same day, but, like, a day or two days later after uh, after Fathead got killed. Just by coincidence. It had not, not, no, nothing related, but it just shows, man. Age ain't shit. He, Taekwon was 13, so... Yeah, man. Age don't mean shit in Chicago. If you with the gang shit, man, you can get it. So yeah, a after Fathead got killed, that's when uh, that's when Kiddo killed uh Tricks. But um, C Day was just basically going saying, I like I showed you last time, just oh you guys basically killed a nobody, you killed a rabbit off a cereal box. So basically, um, that's when uh, what's his name, Lil Mick, Rocco, and then killed L.A. Capone. So basically. L.A. Capone is really the real get back for Fathead. So, I, I, I talked about L.A. Capone, I did his death say, but um, I might talk about his killing a little more in the next video. And uh, I, I didn't show the exact spot because I didn't know, but I actually found out the exact spot where he got killed. So maybe I'll do another uh, video about L.A. Capone, but he was the real get back for Fathead. But, uh, yeah, man, just as we learned, you, just, you really can't trust chicks. And like I said, I'm not implicating Gotti. Um, I told you she's bad as hell. I fuck with her, but she is she is the one who to uh she she she's the one who brought six nine to Chicago too, which a lot of people don't know. But yeah, she's the one who brought him to O Block. But I just think there's more to this shooting um than we really know. But a lot of these dudes, man, they like they grew up basically with each other, man. They they went to school with each other, so I I really feel like it was more personal, but. I just think there's more to it, man. Um, especially how Gotti started dating Rondo right after. Like, obviously, obviously Rondo had a thing for her for a minute. Then he just started dating out of nowhere. And like, like take take six hundred or whatever. Take Pone said he's like he he's like I don't even know how Rondo got Gotti. Gotti's bad as hell. I I said the same thing. I was like, how the hell Rondo pulled Gotti? She she is bad as hell. Uh, she's sexy as fuck. I like I fuck with Gotti. I'm not implicating her anyway. I just think there's more to this, but this is just my opinion, man. I, I could be totally wrong. Like I said, no one really knows what happens with these shootings, man. None of us were there, so a lot of this shit at most time is speculation. I'm not claiming to be 100% right about everything, but I just really think there's more to this specific shooting than we than we really know. But uh, I'm gonna pull up the map and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, I'm gonna show you guys the spot where he got killed. Alright, so I got the map pulled up for you guys, and uh, like I said, this was at, it was eight, at 8.40, I think, on a, 8.40 on a Friday night, man, so, 
This is where he got killed down, 69th and uh, South Union. So, obviously, man, they weren't sliding down there just for no reason. You know, you're not you're not sliding around in a sprinter van four deep with pipes on you unless you know what you're doing, man. That's just a good way to get pulled over and get a gun charge. But, yeah, like 600, 051. He was, like I said, he was down by, kind of down by Brick Squad, Lamron territory in this Englewood area. So, I just feel like they had to, they had to have got the drop on him somehow. And like I said, I don't want to implicate Gotti, um, but just, I don't know, man. Somehow they got the drop on him. So, let's go down to this corner on 69th and South Union. And there's some pictures from the scene, man, but I'm not going to post them. I don't want the video to get taken down. Um. I can't tell the exact spot where he got killed, but it was definitely somewhere right around here, 69th and uh, Union Avenue. So somewhere along one of these sidewalks here. It could have been down this way. Or it could have been down somewhere down around this way. But yeah, I don't know the exact location. I couldn't really tell from the pictures, and uh, like I said, I don't want to post them, but if you guys know the exact location, just uh, just tell me what time in the video, but yeah, somewhere out here, man, is where uh, the fathead got killed, but like I said, man, he was uh, one of the most infamous, I don't know why he gets talked about so much, I really think it's because he, L.A. Pone was really the reason, uh, L.A. Pone got killed because of fathead, I really think. He was, he was the real get back for uh, Fathead. So that's another reason why it's so, such an infamous and so many people talk about it. Because basically Fathead dying is what got Alec Capone killed. So stay tuned, man. I got a lot more of these videos coming from this uh, Young Money 600 War. And uh, I'm going to start the uh, Young Money uh, THF War soon too. So just stay tuned, man. It's your boy Shyrak News. I'm out.